Today I'm gonna to show you how I roll my hair up to get these heatless beach waves right after this. Hey superstars, it's your girl Malika aka Miss Magic back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how I got this well, a wave look in my hair. My hair is seven days old. But first, before we get started, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. If Go ahead, hit that subscribe button for me and give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. And hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. All right, let's get straight into this. So like I said, my hair is seven days old and I have been getting so many compliments on this look. And everybody thinks I wake up and wand curl it or, um, use heat on my hair and this is totally heatless okay so like i said my hair is seven days old i'm gonna get started on showing you my hair was silk pressed uh on day one which was a week ago and um straight just straight and so what i did was just roll it with my rollers i'm gonna show you my technique and i did put a little foam wrap on it one day and one day i put some curl pudding on it just a little bit so that the curl can maintain and hold all right let's get straight into it all right guys so the first thing i'm going to do i comb out my hair i didn't show myself combing my hair out but i comb out all the ways from the previous day and i'll take one section for my first part now i'm using my satin rollers that i got from walmart they sell them on amazon as well instead of rolling it up you're going to take a, a down motion and then i basically just twist my hair around the roller and clasp it making sure that the ends are on a deep making sure the ends are secured on the roller my tongue is tied if your ends are not totally secured make sure you use a little bit of oil or you can use a little foam wrap or you can little, use a little curling pudding whatever you want now i'm gonna go ahead and put some more oil on my hair and then as i go towards the back where there's more hair i'm gonna go ahead and section it into two parts and basically do the same thing comb it out make sure that your roller is in an upside down motion if that's what you want to call it and basically just twist the hair around simple as that and basically that is it I'm gonna go ahead and do my whole head in this same fashion yes I did leave a little piece out in the front I didn't notice it uh, did what did I do oh no I twisted it over to the side and put in another one so once again twist it around the roller make sure that ends goes all the way you don't want any of your ends sticking out or it'll be a little bit too straight and basically that's it boom my whole head is all rolled up this is what my back looks like I think I used about one two three four I don't know about ten ten rollers all in all so that was super easy now I'm gonna take my satin scar and I am going to secure the rollers into place this is important because you don't want your rollers going all over the place because they can open up and your hair fall out of so you want to secure your hair into place with your satin scarf and then after I use my satin scarf I am going to go ahead and put my bonnet on top of that just to make sure everything is secured in place and that is it we are ready for bed and I'll see you guys in the morning All right, good morning, I am back and I am showered and dressed for work. Hey guys, make sure when you get in the shower you have a shower cap on so that your hair won't get wet. But after that, we're gonna take everything off, took our satin cap off and our uh, satin scarf. And now we're just going to unwind it and you're gonna unwind it in the way you curled it. I know I'm having difficulty with this one, but that's okay. Okay, so as you see, it's giving like a little wave look. Just leave it alone. Let's take down all of the rollers, do not touch anything until everything is down if you see how my hair coils up a little bit you can just like pull the curl down up in the direction that you rolled it so go ahead and you see I pulled that down that was a bigger curl but it's fine it's gonna do the same thing go ahead and unroll your whole head
All right, so once it is all down, for my front part, I usually just rake it with my fingers. I do not comb through it at all in the front. I just rake through with my fingers until I like the way it looks, kind of push it up a little bit. Same thing with the other side. Rake it through. Now my back, once I rake it through, well, I'm still raking through the front, obviously. Like the way that's, that looks. Now my back, I do take a wide, wide tooth comb and comb through the back so that you can't see any of my parts because I can't really see back there. So, and then I comb the back as well because usually, you know, at the nape of your neck, you might sweat and I don't want it to like poof up. So I just find that comb in the back help me, help, helps me out a little bit. So I will go ahead and comb the back out, but I will not comb my sides out. All right, so this is the back of my hair, and basically that is it. And yes, yeah, she is filling herself. So that is it. That is this is day seven of my hair. I probably will wash it in the next couple of days. I'm gonna try to get it to last two more days, but it's starting to get a little, you know, product. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post another video. I hope to see you in past, present, future videos. I got a lot of videos, so watch them, guys. I do hair. I talk about my natural hair, and I talk about other things. So, hope to see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.